Hi everyone, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sandra Doll Beauty. I do have another channel if you want to check it out. It is Sandra Doll and it covers bullet journaling, planning, goal setting, that kind of thing. So today's look is going to be something I have never tried before. It is the fox eye. I, number one, kind of suck at doing a cat eye. So my attempt is great on this eye, and then when I get to this eye, it just messes up. But we're gonna try doing our best today. And I'm also going to use my Jeffree Star Orgy palette to create some shadow on the eye. I'm not doing an eyeshadow look. It is going to be a cat eye slash fox eye with a red lip. So I'm really excited to finally do this because I've seen a lot of it online and I just haven't done it myself. And I'm going to basically elongate the eye and then make the eye appear lifted kind of slanty like this that is the goal so to start i have done my face makeup it's looking really glowy i do want to share my foundation with you that i used today so for my primer i used my backup backlight priming filter i used my l'oreal paris Invaluable pro glow foundation in 207 sand beige this was actually a new container i didn't realize it wasn't even open yet so that's a pro glow formula which helps to make that glowy effect and then for powder i did use my jeffree star luminous face powder in beige and so it's given me the perfect beautiful glow that i've been loving the last few weeks and on top of that i'm going to put my butter bronzer this is the shade deep bronzer it is the Merle Mu butter bronzer by physicians formula and i'm using this really super large uh, powder brush F30 by Sigma. I love it because I feel like when I bronze, I know when other people bronze form up the face, they kind of do it similar to a contour. But when you are out in the sun, the sun does not bronze back here. I know that people do it because it showcases the high points of your face still. But the whole point of bronzing is that it hits the high points of your face. So in my the way I like to do my bronzing is where the sun would hit you first. And it's kind of a natural look, but plus the glow that is in this formula, it literally looks like you've been in the sun and you've got this gorgeous tan, but the foundation is really covering up all of your flaws. So it's perfect. Okay, so once I get that product on, it's almost like the less precise you are with it, the more natural it looks, which I really like using this large brush for. And then I'm going to use my Benefit Dallas blush. So I want a deeper blush color because I'm not doing the eyes up at all, hardly. So I'm going to use my F10 powder blush brush by Sigma. And this is a deeper bronzer, bronzy rose blush. So it is quite a bit darker than um, a lot of people would probably like to wear but on my skin tone I love it and then to top it off I will be using the Milani baked blush in 05 Illuminoso so this is going to give me that fresh summer glow I'm just gonna put some on my nose and then before I do any other makeup before I put my liner on I will spray my face I will use my coconut Mac fix plus I do have my Radiant Milani Make It Dewy spray, but I feel like I've got a lot of Radiant going on right now. So I just want to kind of settle everything together with this formula. I'm just going to let it dry. And then I'm going to go onto the eye and do a little bit of contouring, but I really do want to keep it kind of like a blank slate. So here's my palette. The reason why I picked this one is because the shades are all matte. I can really go in and pick any medium toned brown that I need. So I will be doing this with an E25 because I can be a bit more precise where I want the color. Um, I think what we'll do is go in with the shade top. So it's right beside a safe sex, which I used in my last video. So top and it's going to go in the crease.
and I'm gonna bring it up towards like the corner of my brow because when I do a cat eye I want the tail of the line to go up toward my brow as well so after we do a tiny bit of contouring here I'm gonna go in and I want to show you guys how I do my liquid liner I will be using a brand I don't really use that often and I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush now so I need an E40 for this same color and I'm gonna bring the contour out to my temple see if you're contouring this works out really really well because basically this whole part of your face is darker because you are contouring and that's where your contour generally goes but it's gonna give my face a little bit more of a shape give my eyes a little bit of shape anywhere where you add a darker like tone is where it's going to indent a little bit or make it look like it's kind of indenting even though it's not and I'm also going to bring that shade just here by my nose a bit and bring it down into this area here just give a bridge of my nose area a little bit of shape so when you are looking at somebody and you've done this you can't really tell that they're wearing makeup anywhere it just looks like natural shadow that's why i love this palette so much especially if you're doing wedding makeup and you want to create a little bit more shadow in someone's face you've got all of the colors that you could possibly need which is really awesome so i'm going to attempt to do my liner i'm using i've been using this in the last few looks it's by scone it's called insanely intense tattooed mini waterproof eyeliner in jet black I think I got it in an Ipsy Glam bag many years ago, but it's still good. So I'm going to start by making a thin line all along the lashes. I will be using lashes today. And I really need it to be a cat eye. So I'm going to follow the natural curve of my eye and just bring it up fairly tall. And then continue using my line along my lashes. And then I'm connecting this line to the lash line that I've created on my, like against my lashes here. So just building it up so it kind of connects and looks natural so the part where I have trouble I'll just spread it down on the outer corner a little bit the part where I have trouble is on this eye to match it so I'm gonna try doing my best I'm gonna start on the inner corner and work my way outwards okay so I want to get the same area where this one is so I believe it's going to be right about here I think that looks good I'm going to connect it like I did the other one And then bring this down on the lower lash line. 
just a tiny bit. And now the trick for the inner portion is to kind of go around your tear duct a little bit. That's why it's important that you use a liquid liner that is waterproof or even a pencil liner if you want to get that nice precise point. Um, make sure it's really sharp, but make sure it is waterproof. Wow. Okay, well that has really elongated my eyes. I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to look like, but I think it'll look much better with mascara on because I do love to have mascara on the lower lash line. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure my under eye is looking its best. And another idea, if you wanted to use shadow, I'm not going to in today's look, but you could take it to be a little bit darker um, right above the liquid line on the cat eye and you can kind of build it up on the corner and make it less intense as you go toward the lid. I won't be doing a shadow today though. Wow, that looks very interesting. Okay, so I'm going to keep my liner out just in case I need to do any touch-ups before I put it away. Um, I have to do lips and I have to put on mascara. So what we're going to do first is add glue to the lashes. These are the Kella lashes, which I've been using for a while. I like to use the same pair kind of over and over again until they wear out just so I'm not wasting them. So I always clean them off after every use. Like when I take them off, I just peel off the glue and it does help to kind of soak them in some warm water before you peel it off. So I apply the glue and then I'm going to put on my mascara. It'll give the lashes time to set and we will be right back after I've applied my mascara and lashes and then we will do lips. Lashes are on. I'm not really sure how well they're on. I'm having trouble with this left one. It never really looks the same as the right. But I think that looks good and my eyes do look lifted and I'm not really sure about that liner. I feel like it's really dark so I feel like I need to like blended it with maybe a brown shadow or something. So I'm going to go back into my Drugly Star palette. I'm going to take a little liner brush. This is the Eyeliner E11 brush by Sigma and I'm just going to take a dark shadow. I'm going to use Happy Ending right here. Um, it's not overly dark and I think it'll make that inner portion a bit less dramatic, I think. I'm going to fill it in. I think that looks much better. I think it actually um, does better with a brown, so it's not as intense. And I'm gonna warm it a little, I'm gonna warm it up a little bit here with half, or sorry, imitation only. I think that is good. So now for lips. I have, um, so I like, <laughs> how do I say this? When it comes to a red lip, I don't want it to go all over the place, especially in my teeth. So I choose either a matte lip that will, a liquid that will dry down to matte, or these ones which are already kind of a soft matte. These are the Too Faced lipsticks. I've got Breakfast Club and He's With Me. So I'll line my lips with my Morphe lip pencil in the shade Mina. We'll go ahead and do that first.
I went ahead and filled them in. And then I'm going to take He's With Me and just use the tip to kind of outline where on the outer part. And on the inner part, I will use Breakfast Club. And that is it. So the last step, which I didn't forget, I promise, is a highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight under my brow bone. <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work with the inner corner because I do have that dark color there. I think I can put it around the darkness or maybe just above. I think that would look really pretty. And then the last step is, of course, highlighting my cheekbones. Although my face has a lot of glue on it right now, but we need some more. Okay, I am happy with this. I would love to wear this for a date night makeup look. I just wish we could go out somewhere. Oh, okay, that is it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this quick makeup look. Well, it wasn't really quick, just no eyeshadow. So I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're new here, I'd love if you would subscribe. Please help me out. I've got eight whole subscribers. Thank you guys so much for joining my channel, my second channel, I should say and keep tuned for more. To do that, click that bell notification button. We'll talk to you again next time. Bye now.